Folks, you're looking at a beautiful John Deere Gator, okay? Um, this Gator is a couple years old, not that old. Uh, doors look like crap. It has been sitting outside for a year plus, okay, at our other property. Didn't have a place to store it inside out there, and this is what happens. The rest of it will clean up very nicely, and the doors will look like this because it wants to embarrass you. Um, kind of in my life with a Gator and we're gonna to try to fix that today. Uh, also, you're gonna see it sitting in this awkward position because uh, the battery has died. And, you know, just jump the battery, right, Courtney? That's all you gotta do. But, well, cameraman, please be gracious enough to show them the battery location. It's like in an impossible spot, um, requires an operation to get the battery out of there. No easy way to, to jump it and get it started. Um, it's, I still own the Gator. So anyway, we're gonna to try to put this stuff on here, okay? We've already tried WD-40, because why not? Um, Car Guys, okay, Black Plastic Restore, a couple others too, I'll show you pictures. So this door has been treated. This is, this is a treated door right here. It didn't last. The rest of the plastic looked great. Back of the cab is also this chalky color. Project Farm selected this as the winner of his Black Plastic Restore. Cerakote, trim coat, restoration kit, supposedly a lot longer lasting ceramic coating all right like what you put on a, on a vehicle for example so 10 extra large wipes the door has been cleaned and prepped we're gonna do it on the other side too give it a shot fingers crossed this brings it back to the original luster of a brand new gator but let's find out all right and i think it's worth noting too how on some of the areas of the door and the other side there's um sections that look a lot better so it's like not the same composition or something. Oh, there are gloves in here, nice. Not the same composition throughout the whole, uh, the whole door. The handle's good, the trim's good. It's just, anyway. So I was gonna sell this Gator and I had it for sale and, um, and then I didn't and then some people were interested and I was like, you know, I gotta get this thing cleaned up and detailed and looking good because the pictures I had in the listing were old. And then we use this gator whenever we went out to the other property because there's so many parts of that property that are hard to access, just the way it's designed and configured. And so we kind of needed it out there. Now we don't really go out there. So I brought it back. I don't know, I think I'm gonna sell it. I'm still back and forth on it. I don't like it, but it is functional when the battery works. It smells like dead mice, so that's my bonus. Okay, it says, it's simple, clean, dry, apply. And, uh, well, let me, let me double check, make sure there's nothing else. Do not apply in direct sunlight. Wipe and overlapping passes. I can do this. And also we do have uh, two floor mats in here, kind of like the WeatherTech, same kind of concept, custom molded uh, floor mats from uh, tractor mat, both in the bed and on the floor inside the gator. 5% off with code GWT on their website. Where do you want to start? Just in the corner here, I guess. Now, while this looks good now, we're going to give this a day or two and see if it holds true because, um, some of the other products looked amazingly beautiful just like this. And then they dried out just after like a day. So we're gonna give this a little bit of time before we call it a, a win. It seems to be really soaking up this liquid though because of how severe it's, it's dried out and how chalky it is, I think. Oh, right in the dirt. Just the gator, it can handle it. Ten wipes in there in that small one. I think there might have been a bigger pack. I can't remember. I felt like ten would do it. I looked in the FAQs on the Amazon listing and it gave somebody had asked a question about a lot bigger application than this and asked if one 10 pack would do it and it said no problem so I figured for two gator doors it's got to be okay I mean if this if, if this stays looking like this that would be insane
I don't know if you guys all watch Project Farm or not. But uh, you probably do. He's always doing good comparisons. And normally his stuff is spot on. I use a, um, a knife sharpener that, you know, that won his comparison too. And I mean, that sharpener is simple. It's effective. And it gets the knife sharper than uh, the old way I did it, I'll tell you that. I posted pictures of these doors on social media last night. And a lot of guys mentioned using a torch. And I have seen that and I've seen it work. <clears throat> I also feel like there's a lot of risk involved and potential unintended consequences there that uh, I don't know. I just wasn't ready to to deal with. I didn't really want to change the composition of the the plastic. Maybe lose the texture. But if this doesn't work, I may give it a shot because it can't be any worse than this faded black look. I just prefer not to go that route. It just doesn't go on thick enough to do just continual strokes. I think that's because of the condition of the plastic, though. Well, now the doors look darker than the rest of it. Well, we'll see if it lasts. Okay, got the doors all shined up and actually had enough juice in the battery to raise the uh, the dump bed a little bit and get back in there. Interesting though, if you see back here, there's a lot of faded area that it, there was no exposure to the sun. Like it was behind this bed, like all the way down in here, it's still faded. I don't, I don't know what the heck's going on. So I don't know if this is sun related or heat related or what but uh yeah it's very strange where there was no sunlight getting back in there how it still has the same fade anyway you can see right here there looks to be like a relocated battery terminal and i tried this yesterday we're gonna try it again my brother doesn't believe me he thinks i'm a liar or i'm just an idiot well you know idiot part might be true but we're gonna give this a shot again and uh, I know this has juice that's been on the charger. And actually, if you turn it on right there, you can see you got you got full juice. Okay, we're going to leave it off for the moment. I do wish these cables were a little longer on here, but that's, that's on there. Now, I would think there's no negative anywhere. You just ground it on something, though, right? There should be a should be something happening here, but there's nothing happening there. Oh, there we go though. That other why did this not that piece of steel didn't work, but this one did. I clamped it on that bolt, I clamped it on that rod, and I think I clamped it right on that, there. We can cut that part out about the idiot thing though. You ready for this? Are you sure? Take you out. Oh, man, it's still not doing it. It worked! The gator's alive! Alrighty, folks, so we're going to give it a day or two. We'll see how this looks after that. It's already starting to dry in there, and it's, it's losing some of its shine. It's not as black as it was, but it is definitely better. And maybe you can do a second coat on here, and I would imagine the second coat would be easier. This is a pretty harsh 
scenario, a pretty worst case scenario, uh, I would think for black plastic fade. And I use the Car Guys Black Plastic Restore on all the tractors that I use to detail, and it worked really well. This is way beyond that level. So fingers crossed. I don't know, maybe it maybe it works and maybe it lasts longer too. At least that's what uh, Project Farm says and a lot of the reviews online say too. So we will see you in a day or two. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Folks, five days later, all right, we're gonna do it the next day. I took a couple pictures the next day or the day after, but five days later, this is what it looks like. Okay, so it's not as shiny as it was, but it was really bad. And this is really good, in my opinion, compared to where it was at. Um, haven't had, well, we had it outside for a little bit, but uh, not too long. So it hasn't seen sunlight baking down on it, but uh, this is really impressive. The back panel is not quite as good. Uh, I do think I'm probably gonna put a second application on here given how horrible it was to begin with and maybe take, there's still some, and maybe it won't come out, but you can see like blotchiness. And I think that's really more of the plastic than uh, the product because I, I definitely overlapped and everything else. And it's not the kind of streaks that would line up with an inconsistent application. It's more, I don't know. It just looks like the material itself. So anyway, very impressed again. It's only been five days, but given the fact that the other products didn't make it a day before reverting back to that really chalky grayed out status this is a vast improvement and really not that much more money especially with these kinds of results so this is it folks serico ceramic coating i want to give a shout out to project farm if you don't watch it for some reason this is validation that what he's testing actually it's accurate okay we took the winner the best product that he recommended used it and you can see this is the difference that it made when all the other products failed so that's going to do it for us today now if you enjoyed this video you want to see more we'd love to have you tag along hit subscribe down below we sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country so if you're looking for something for your machine for the front end loader or the three-point hitch more than likely we have what you need so check us out free shipping rewards and financing too i want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon